This video is brought to you by thepuzzler.com. Problem number 21 from the 10B, which was also number 20 on the 12B. We have a polynomial p of x with rational coefficients such that when p of x is divided by the polynomial x squared plus x plus 1, the remainder is x plus 2, and when p of x is divided by the polynomial x squared plus 1, the remainder is 2x plus 1. There's a unique polynomial of least degree with these two properties. What is the sum of the squares of the coefficients of that polynomial? Okay, so the best way I think to do this is to find the polynomial. Shouldn't be too hard, right? The degrees are not way too high. Um, let's say it's a quadratic, right? Uh, what would it be if it was a quadratic? So if we had a quadratic, we would have some expression, some constant a, times x squared plus x plus 1 plus the remainder is equal to some constant b times x squared plus 1 plus the remainder in that second division. Now we can what we can what we can do is we can match the coefficients. When we do this, we get that a equals b, a plus 1 equals 2. So far so good. So this would tell us that a equals 1. And this would then tell us that b equals 1. And then finally, a plus 2 equals b plus 1. Now this, this is not true. And since we know this is not true, we cannot have a quadratic. Let's do the same thing. Let's assume it's a cubic. Or that's why we can't have a quadratic function. So yeah, let's assume that our function is a cubic. So then we multiply it by a linear function ax plus b. That's the quotient, that's the number we're dividing by, that's the remainder, like last time. And we set it again. We set it equal to each other again. So now we match coefficients, and we're given a couple equations. So we're given that a, so I'll start on the left, a equals c. We have that a plus b equals d. We have that a plus b plus 1 equals c plus 2. And then finally, b plus 2 equals d plus 1. Now, even though this is a four-variable system, it's not a hard four-variable system. For example, we know that a equals c, so we can substitute that into here to get a plus b plus 1 equals a plus 2. A's cancel out, so that b equals 1. Now, if b equals 1, what else do we have from there? So we have that, uh, this should be a 2. So we have that b plus 2 equals d plus 1, which means that 3 equals 2 plus 1. So d equals 2. Okay, so now here we have that b equals 1, d equals 2, so then a equals 1. And then a equals c, so c equals 1. So our solution, a, b, c, d, is equal to 1, 1, 1, and then we have 2 for d. Okay, so once we have that, we can just plug it back in, right? We can plug it back in the values that we have for a and for b and use that to solve. So this, plugging it back into this, would give us this cubic right here x cubed plus 2x plus so x cubed plus 2x squared plus 3x plus 3. Okay, now if we go back to the problem statement, what is the sum of the squares of the coefficients of that polynomial? So if we go down, we have 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 9 equals 23. We go back up. Our answer is E, and we're done. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked or enjoyed this video, make sure that you give it a like and subscribe to our channel. For more amazing content, you can check out thepuzzler.com.